Hey, good morning. I thought I'd mix things up a little bit today. Um, get ready to go to the gym, do some warm ups, and uh, do some abs and forearms, and then have a crazy arm day. So, um, my morning was a little hectic. You know, if you guys remember last night, I was mentioning how the how the folks were coming in. Um, yeah, just just a lot going on. You know, really. Uh, to be honest, my diet kind of got put on the back burner for a little bit this morning, but uh, I still ate, still got some protein and carbs, and not near as much as I normally do. So, if you guys remember, typically I'll uh, I try to get around half, not quite half, almost half of my carb intake um, for breakfast, and I try to time that about an hour and a half before I go to the gym. Um, but anyway, today I had probably. <laughs> 40 grams of protein and like 60 grams of, of carbs, which is fine, which is fine. I lifted uh, fasted for years. I, I mean, I'm not recommending it and saying that's the way to go, but I'll be okay. I'm still going to be intense, right? It's just nice to have that fuel during an intense workout. Plus, it's good for your muscle recovery as well and hydration. Speaking of, I have not drunk a lot of water. I forgot my vitamins and everything. <laughs> just a mess this morning, but anyway... Yeah, happy day 54. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go warm up and enjoy this this sick arm day. Best day of the week. Right, I'll see you guys inside. abs and forms are done they 54 dude that's crazy uh yo you guys want to get hopped up for a lift do some uh listen to some uh disney some uh dove cameron got me jacked up right now um but yeah we're gonna start off with um we're gonna, do some we're gonna start off with the easy bar overhead extension for that long head stretch do this for four sets last week i did this 90 pounds for eight so hoping to get more today yeah, thanks so much for being here. Hope that angle's okay. Yeah. Yo, hey, I'm stuck at eight again. I'm gonna drop it down. Just wanna do eight? eight. Yeah, I'll do like 80s. Try to get like 10, 12 reps. I'll take it back. Let's drop it down. I wanna do more eight. We did eight last week with this. Let's, let's do some more reps. More volume. Three more sets. All right, no rest. No rest, Cody. All right, I dropped it down to 80s. You know, we did, we did 90s for eight last week and I just wanna do some more volume. I'm a big believer in doing sticking with the weight, especially your hypertrophy stuff. Stick with the weight to like 12 to 15 reps, and then increase it after. You know. <laughs> Cody hates me. Sorry, right. I hate him too. Let's go. Up, up, 
That's perfect. Yo, I know you guys noticed, but I thought I would show some skin off today, give you a little little leg action. <laughs> to be honest, you wanna be honest? I didn't feel like doing laundry. Last set, and then we're gonna do some cable crossover extensions. I was in the bathroom expelling my pre-workout. <laughs> Why am I the way I am? I had something I wanted to say and I forgot, dude. I forgot. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you did. Fourteen and a half. So, so, so stupid. So stupid. So stupid. You're fired. Hello, welcome back. My name's Justin. This is my bodybuilding journey. I was really fat, and I'm less fat. Still fat, but not as fat. More muscular, but not as muscular as I want to be. Wait, eating disorders are not a joke. But yeah. I miss being fat. Dude, so my mom came in, right? And she always comes in with this every time this duffel bag full of like candy and I'm talking like nerds ropes and like fudge like homemade fudge no it sucked better all right let's do how many sets are we doing two or three I added fives on get your foot off of it Five more counts. We're so close to three. Uh, excuse me, that was so rude. We're so close to 300. I'm going skiing tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. Oh wait, we got crossover extensions, don't we? All right, almost done. We got one more lift and then we do some biceps. All right, you guys know what it is, S plus tier. We're going, well, this, is, this is like cream of the crop, triceps. What would you put number one? Very nice, this one very nice. This one make big arms. Dude, I, 
<laughs> what? Is... I'm just in a good mood. It was that Disney music during the warm up. I got it. It was alright. I might drop it down. Yeah, it's heavier after doing the other stuff, for sure. Alright, I'm gonna drop the weight down just a little bit. Usually we start with the extensions, but ending with them today, it got a little heavy. Hey, Cody. The booty shorts was a good call today, yeah? Yeah? Dump truck. <laughs> Dump truck those plated squats and hip thrusts will do for you. I don't know what to expect. I just threw on some weight. You know, every cable machine's different. Let's do it. Bayesian curls, my favorite bicep lift. Oh, oh yeah. You're at five points. Okay. That's nine. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the weight down though. <laughs> Just one plate. Alright, I'll slow the weight. Sorry about my the angle. I know y'all y'all don't like looking at the muscles, you like looking at this pretty face all the time. Right, Cody? This is the money maker. You know I got bad hair, right? That was so. That was so genuine. I just said this is the money maker. Well, I heard you say I, I picked up my name, but there's been multiple times I watch your videos and you talk to me and you're like, oh, he's in La La Land or whatever. <laughs> Remember, gunfire, artillery fire, and jets. I got yeah. crap hearing, man. I got three loud kids. It's the same. Thing. <laughs> it really is. Since we both have to get going, we're just gonna do one more set, drop set, and then we're just gonna do some like, we're just gonna spam some standing dumbbell curls.
Turn your pinkies out, squeeze. Okay. That's perfect. All right, we're gonna do the super set. So, just to get out of here, we're gonna do some dumbbell curls to failure, and then we're gonna finish off with some hammer curls. Sound like fun? It's not gonna be fun, but we're gonna do it. Let's go. Don't you ever touch my dumbbell again. Aren't you guys so glad I didn't cut my hair for the cut? Look how cute that is, bro. I'm basically a model material now. See you in the studio. All right, all done. Anything you want to talk about? There's nothing I want to talk about. I, I can't stand any of them. I'm just doing this to make money. I'll take my shirt off. I don't think I'm gonna record a video tomorrow. I don't know, I'll see. Maybe I'll surprise you guys with a video. So the booty shorts are a W or no? Type one in chat. You could talk about all the alimony you used to owe me. All the alimony? Yeah, you owe me. Am I facing the camera? Oh, 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 oh. There you go, right there. Look at me. There's abs there. I mean, it's fat, but fat rolls count. Look, there's one, two, three, four. Six. I think those were Twinkies, dude. <laughs> Yo, what up? Day 54. That was a fun one. Yeah, I just had to get going. I've been here not long, you know. Um, plus, you know, parents are hanging out with the grandkids. They're, they're having fun, but, you know, I don't... I maybe see them three, four times a year. So, you know, last thing I want to do is peace out and go to the gym. I mean, definitely, you know, this is a priority, but family comes first. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, it was quick. The, the, you know, the super set at the end, I was tired. <laughs> I was tired. They're, they're fully inflated though, man. You know, it's weird. Like, so I ate pretty bad. I mean, it is what it is. It's just water weight, but I ate pretty bad on Valentine's. So I fully expected the, the scale to go up, but it went up even more today and I ate good yesterday. I don't know. It's it's all good though. It's all good. Um, today was actually the least amount of calories I've had going into the gym in a long time, and I, I felt I felt great, man. Something about just feeling lean, dude. I don't know. I felt all the progressions were good. You know, all the lifts I felt pretty strong. Um, I don't know. I just felt fine. Not. I don't recommend that because it's gonna catch up to me. Um, but you know, I just was running around this morning. Kind of going a little, you know, a little, a little hectic morning, and I didn't really have time to eat, but 
That's okay. It's still a sick lift. All right, we're going. The sun is out again. Um, it was slick this morning, and last night when I had to go to the airport, it was very slick. You know, it snowed and melted a little bit and then froze over. Got down in the, you know, lower 20s. Well, probably mid-20s, but... Yeah, man, I was kind of joking during uh, the dip machine. You know, my mom, you know, t like typical moms do, and, you know, grandparents, they... Uh, they make sure they they load you up with snacks and whatnot. That's why my my kids love when they come because they're all the time, you know, gummy bears, you know, <laughs> nerds, sour patch kids, you know, chocolates, whatever. But man, so Kentucky has the best. So only, you can only buy them in Kentucky. There's you know there's a manufacturer in Kentucky called Grippos. And they are the best barbecue chip ever. And she always brings me bags. She brought me two bags. And they're just going to, hopefully they don't go stale. I mean, I guess one day it wouldn't hurt me to have a little bit. But those are the type of chips or snacks that you, it's like an Oreo, right? Like, dude, when I, before I started working out, I, there was multiple times where I'd eat a whole pack of Oreos. Like the whole, like, thing. It's so bad. But it's kind of like that. It's like... With the Grippos, man, you can't just have one. You gotta have, you know, it's it's impossible just to eat one. They're so good. They're so good. They're like spicy barbecue. But uh, you can you can buy them on Amazon. You're definitely gonna pay more. But if you live in Kentucky, you know you can find them just about any gas station or they don't sell them at Walmart or anything. But you can find them just about any gas station you go to. But they are bomb.com. They even make like jerky and stuff. But you can buy the seasoning. Uh, the barbecue seasoning, it's top tier too. But uh, yeah, she brought two bags. I was like, Mom. She's like, I know, I know. You'll be fine. You can have some. You know, and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. But um, ah, whatever. You, you can't, you know. Here's my thing, man. Like, sorry, I'm getting like serious for a second. It's like this is why I like the if it fits your macros. Granted, that's there's a lot more flexibility in the maintenance or surplus than than there is at the cut. But I like doing that because it gives me freedom. Like, you know, I like yeah, sugar is not the best, but it's all thermodynamics, man. Like you, it doesn't really matter what you eat as long as you if you if you're eating less than you're burning then you're gonna lose weight you know what i'm saying like you could have you could have four snicker bars every day and that's just your meals dude i mean you'd be hungry and i don't recommend that because the macros would be terrible but you would lose weight <laughs> but any i guess what i'm getting at it's okay to have it like that helps me stay consistent it's like once in a while you know like i'm deadlift out of a donut or something there it's like i think it's good to have those treats and stay disciplined you know just kind of treat yourself if you will like you know have a little flexibility man have fun with it like eating eating you know a, a cup of those grippo chips you know every once in a while is not going to really hinder my long-term goals by much you know so i don't know just don't be so hard man don't be so hard just just treat yourself a little bit have a little have some barbecue snacks or some sour patch kids or Reese cups once in a while just don't overdo it you know but if you're like motivated and you know there's you're, you're inspired to to change your body i don't think there's any chance of you slipping up too bad you know but yeah i'll keep this outro short just remember um if you guys got questions i'm just gonna snag them and post them somewhere in here maybe i'll get one post it, but it's too late now i i didn't see any i i know i apologize if i missed any but uh yeah it's been fun um i don't know it's 50 50 chance i'm gonna lift tomorrow well there, there's a 100 percent chance i'm gonna lift but there's a 50 50 percent chance i'm gonna record it um because i don't know what time we're leaving tomorrow we're going to the ski resort so they got a water park and a ski resort and we're spending the whole weekend doing that and um i don't know if we're leaving early in the morning or what if we're leaving early in the morning there won't be a video if we're leaving around lunchtime then i'll uh i'll get up you know like i have been doing and, and you know we'll do some deadlifts but um don't worry i'll go you know the hotel or wherever we're staying um i think it's just like a lodge you know 
But anyway, uh, they have a fitness center, and I'll do some RDLs and, you know, some split squats, and, you know, I'll still have a good leg day later. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for the love. Last time I checked, man, we're getting, we're creeping on 300 subs. It's crazy, dude. Almost a third of the way to, to a thousand. I told y'all, thousand subs will, uh, I'll upgrade. I'll, I'll invest in this and get a nicer camera. And, and, you know, it'd be nice to have a backup microphone, too. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for the feedback and all the, all the positivity. You guys are, uh, I mean, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love this. I love this shit so much. But, yeah. Take care. Have a good weekend. Stay safe. Stay intense. Stay hydrated. And uh, hit your macros, man. And I'll catch you guys either tomorrow or on what should be Tuesday for you guys. Um, do some uh, um, overhead pressed and chest hypertrophy work. Much love. Catch you guys later. Peace.